Dhanteras is derived from two words. Dhan means wealth and Teras means 13. According to Vikram Samvat, the Hindu calendar, this festival falls on the 13th lunar day of Krishna Paksh. This festival is also known as Yamdeep Dhan and Dhantriyodashi. Dhanteras is the day when deities of health, wealth and death are worshipped. Three stories go behind the celebration of this festival. Let's explore them one by one. The story of Goddess Lakshmi. Once, Goddess Lakshmi insisted to Lord Vishnu that she wanted to accompany him during one of his visits to the earth. Lord Vishnu agreed to her request on the condition that she would not fall for the earthly temptations and would not look in the southern direction. Goddess Lakshmi agreed to his condition. However, during their visit, Goddess Lakshmi got tempted to look in the southern direction and started moving south. She was mesmerized by the beauty of yellow mustard flowers and the sugarcane fields. As a result, Goddess Lakshmi fell for the earthly temptations, decorated herself with mustard flowers and began enjoying the sugarcane juice. When Lord Vishnu saw this, he got annoyed and directed her to spend the next 12 years on the earth as a penance, serving at the poor farmer's field from which she had taken the mustard flowers and the sugar canes. With the arrival of Goddess Lakshmi, the poor farmer became prosperous and wealthy. Twelve years passed and Lord Vishnu came to earth in disguise as an ordinary man to take Goddess Lakshmi back. However, the farmer refused to let him take her back. When all the attempts of Lord Vishnu failed to convince the farmer, Goddess Lakshmi revealed her true identity to him. She told him that she could not stay any longer and promised to visit every year during the night of Dhantriyodashi before Diwali. As the legend goes, the farmer started cleaning his home every year to welcome Goddess Lakshmi on the day of Dhantriyodashi. So this is how people started worshipping Goddess Lakshmi along with Lord Kuber, the treasurer of the gods, also known as the guardian of wealth. Now, the story of God Yam. Once, the 16 years old son of King Hima was doomed to die by a snake bite on the fourth day of his marriage as per his horoscope. On that particular fourth day, his wife didn't allow him to sleep. She illuminated the house with numerous lamps and placed a big heap of gold and silver coins and ornaments at the entrance of their bedroom. All through the night, she went on telling stories and singing songs. When the god of death, Yum, arrived there disguised as a snake, his eyes got blinded by the dazzle of the coins and the lamps present in the room. As a result, he couldn't enter the bedroom. So he stayed by the entrance the whole night listening to the melodious songs. Unsuccessful in his attempt, he quietly went away in the morning. Thus, the smartness of the prince's wife saved him from the grasp of death. So this is another reason why Dhanteras is also known as Yam Deep Dan, meaning the gifting of lamps to the god of death. Now the final story, the story of Dhanvantri. According to the Bhagavad Puran, Dhanteras associates with the day when Lord Dhanvantri, an incarnation of Lord Vishnu, emerged from the sea during Samudra Manthan, carrying a kalash full of Amrit in one hand and the holy Ayurvedic book in the other. Lord Dhanvantri is the originator of Ayurvedic science. He is also known to be the Vaidya of Gods. So that's why devotees pray Lord Dhanvantri to seek his blessings for sound health. As we all know, health is wealth. Now these are all the three legends that go around behind the celebration of Dhanteras. So which one have you heard among the three? Or do you know anything else? Feel free to let us know in the comments. Until next time, Namaste.